how are we all? I have the privilege to have been asked by Cancer Research to come and give you a very important message and it involves our vaginas. I'm currently sitting on mine, as possibly a lot of my audience are sitting on yours right now. So we're here to talk to you today about the Smear for Smear campaign. I've got my good childhood friend on camera with me today, who is a healthcare professional. So I'm going to ask her lots of questions that may make you feel more comfortable about going for a smear. 10 years ago, when the gorgeous um, Jade Goody unfortunately lost her fight to cervical cancer, there was a surge in numbers. Everybody were booking in for a smear and it was absolutely fantastic to see it's so important. However, 10 years on, can I just say that 1.2 million women did not go for the smears they were called for last year. It's so important. It's five minutes of your time. Am I right, Karen? Is it five, five minutes? minutes? It's probably the entire appointment. I would say the smear itself takes about 60 seconds. Your five minutes is probably your consultation from when you go in and have a chat with a healthcare pre professional and then your, your little chat that you have afterwards as well. So five minutes? Yeah. And that could save... Your life. Your life. Yeah, definitely. It's not a pleasant experience. Nobody goes, oh, I'm going for my smear on Thursday. But what I will say is people do prepare for the smear. Mm -hmm. um, do they have to shave or wax? Absolutely not. We don't care what it looks like. Every, they all look the same. They come in different shapes and sizes. We're not We're not on a fashion show. We're, we're not. <laughs> Get your vagina on catwalk. It really doesn't matter to us what it looks like. And if we, next time we see you, we won't recognise you by what we've seen down below. We'll recognise you for your face. I've asked Karen to bring something with her and she has and this is what they use in a smear. So can you show my gorgeous flower pot? So this is the um, speculum which is inserted inside of the vagina and that opens up the vaginal walls and just holds them in place so that you can see the cervix ready for the smear. Once that that's in place they use a really very small soft brush if you can see how soft that is and that takes a small sample of cells from around the cervix and then that's removed, the speculum is gently removed and that's it done, about 60 seconds. And your Auntie Nelly's that old that I remember speculums being cold metal. They used to be and, and it, 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 they're more and more now that the plastic ones are a yeah. lot more comfortable, yeah. a lot more easy to use. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I don't actually fear going for a smear, I really Me don't, either. no pun intended, no fear for a smear. <laughs> um, it is a case of in you go, on the bed you get. I think of England. Yeah, I'm going to say you'll be asked to just lie back, <laughs> just relax. You can ask for a female doctor or a nurse yes. if you prefer as well. Yes. That's never a problem. And it literally is 60 seconds to take the actual test. How old do you have to be for your smear? 25. And you have it done um, every three years if you're under 50, every five years if you're over 50. So it's nothing. Once every three years, is, it really is nothing. No. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you've waxed a shape. It doesn't Absolutely matter not. if it's halfway through your working day and you've not been home to get a fem no. fresh. No. It doesn't matter, does it? Absolutely not. There will be no offensive smell coming from your vagina. Everyone's vagina smell differently it's normal to have a vaginal discharge to a fashion and have a bit of scent absolutely yeah if it's offensive you should be seeing a healthcare professional yeah. anyway shouldn't you yeah all we're bothered about is that you get in there you get your appointment booked and you get your smear done absolutely that's all we're bothered about as well aren't we karen absolutely can we just touch on the hpv yeah it's really important that we uh, get up to date with the hpv vaccinations that's now available in high school um, because the HPV virus is what causes um, cervical cancer, so by vaccinating against that, we're helping to prevent it in the future. Fantastic. So it's really important to make sure your daughters, your sisters are having the HPV virus. It's available, it's free in the UK, it's the only country that will get this opportunity free for the SMEs as well as the HPV, so take advantage of it. Absolutely, absolutely. So please, please, please have no fear of the smear. And please book your smear today. Now. Right now. This moment. This moment. Absolutely. And me and Karen are absolutely delighted to be championing and campaigning for smear for smear.